What's going on guys? Welcome to your 61st tutorial and in this tutorial I'm going to be talking about something called template specialization. Specialization. There we go. Might take me a few times to get it but basically what template specialization is is it's a way to make a class that has a different implementation when a specific type is passed into it. For example, if we made a regular old template like before, we could pass any data type into it like integers, uh, doubles, characters, and it's going to be able to handle any of that data. Well, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you guys, say for example, you want to build a template to handle all numbers, but you want it to do something a little different when it handled characters because, you know, Let's say you wanted to build a class that handled numbers and added them together. Well, you can't use all these same functions whenever you're adding letters together, or else you're going to get a bunch of errors. So it's basically a way of working with a specific type of data in a different way than you would regular. So let's go ahead and the first thing I'm going to do is build a regular template, and I'm going to compare it to this new specialized template. So our boss came up to us and he's like, Bucky why is he talking to us and only using my name I'm not sure but he's a little weird so he's like Bucky I want you to build a template to handle all types of data however if the user passes in a character which is this one specific type of data I want you to work with it in a different kind of way so one class or one template is gonna take integers doubles uh, floats any type of data we pass into it but whenever we pass it in a character it's gonna handle it a little bit differently so after me talking for two minutes it's finally time to start coding so let's go ahead and build a regular template and this is named class T so remember T can be any type of data and I'll just call this class spunky because you know kind of in the uh, spunky kind of mood did anyone ever used to watch Rocco's Modern Life uh, what was that dog's name I'm pretty sure it was spunky but anyways uh, let's go ahead and make a public and the only thing I'm going to be making in these classes is just a simple constructor because I don't need to demonstrate a whole lot I just need to demonstrate the concept and you know not build a huge functional class so in order to make a constructor you of course write the class name which is Spunky and pass in any type of data and we'll name a variable X whenever we first create an object so all we're going to do is we're going to create a class pass it in an object and print it out on the screen so see out X and then go ahead and write something like is not a character because we're going to be passing in any type of data like a number and it's going to make 5 is not a character or 6.17 is not a character so this class is going to handle everything besides characters basically so let me go ahead and make sure I got all my semicolons in the right place and let's go ahead and see a quick example right now so actually I'll wait to show you guys an example not yet I'll make you guys wait so this is how we build a basic template. It can type take any type of data we want it to. Um, integers, characters, floats, doubles, and it could say whatever thing we passed in, like J is not a character, 4 is not a character, 8.76 is not a character, and it's going to work fine with any type of data. That's the beauty of templates. So say whenever the user passes in a character, we want it to be able to do something differently. Well, that's where template specialization comes in. And in order to do this, go ahead and type template with empty parameters right there, or empty angle brackets. This is the line where we tell C++ we're going to be using template specialization. And in the next line, we're going to tell it what type of data this class should handle. So this, again, we can name it the same class as before because the main implementation doesn't really change it's only the data type in concept and the class or excuse me and you write your class name and in between the angle brackets after your name you write what type of data should this class handle alright this is a special class that I want to handle characters characters only nothing to do with numbers or any other data type anything like that this class is only going to be for characters so again one last time the only thing that's really going to change is this line which tells C++ we're going to be using template specialization and this class that says alright since you're using template specialization what type of data should this specialize in and this class is going to specialize in characters so let's go ahead and make that constructor public and of course uh, it's the same 
spunky. However, in your parameters after it, you don't write TX because remember, T is a generic data type. Since this class is only for characters, go ahead and write character right there. And now the body is just like before. Let's go ahead and copy this. Copy right there and paste it right there. Except um, we can't have X is not a character. We can write X is indeed. Oops, no more explanation points needed. Is indeed a character. So basically how our program is going to work is this. We're going to be creating objects and we're going to be creating objects of a bunch of different types. Integers, doubles, characters. Whenever our computer program comes across the character, it's going to handle it with this specialized template. Any other type of data besides character is going to go to this generic uh, template or generic class. So, you know, any numeric data such as integers, doubles, floats, yada, 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 this is going to handle it. But once it sees it's working with the character, it's going to handle this class right here. So it's going to be like 4 is not a character. 8.0 is not a character but if we throw in something like J or Z it's gonna say Z is indeed a character so don't believe me well let me go ahead and prove it to you guys so the first thing I want to mention is I know I didn't tell you guys this but you can explicitly well let me say this whenever we like passed in a data type before C++ already automatically recognized what type of data type that was but you can also do something like this um, you could throw in your angular brackets the data type right after the class name and this helps C++ out and oh great there's a motorcycle driving by right now and this helps C++ out by it basically changes this to T or it substitutes T for the data type it's kind of just a you know a nice little hint for objective C so let's go ahead and make object 1 and since we're going to be working with integers we'll go ahead and pass in 7 so now let's go ahead and copy this save us some typing and now let's go create two more objects so two and three in our next object we're going to double and remember a double is basically something that you can use decimal points like 3.154 and now for our third one let's go ahead and use that character and remember a character is just a letter so um, Q or something like that so basically what's going to happen is this is going to come across this, sees it's working with integers, and use this generic template right here. When it gets to here, it's going to be working with doubles, and it's going to use this generic template right here. When it comes across this, it's going to be working with characters, and it's going to say, hold on a second, you have a special class right here just made for working with characters. So on this one, I'm going to print Q is indeed a character. So let's go ahead and build and run this, see if I forgot any semicolons, and it looks good. So 7 is not a character, 7, or excuse me, 3.154 is not a character, Q is indeed a character. So as you can see, these first two lines right here use, a, use the generic template class, and the last one, whenever we had a character in there, it used that specialized character template class. So there you can see the beauty of specialized, or excuse me, they're called template specialization. So uh, there you go. It's basically a specialization with one data type. In other words, you have a different implementation when a specific data type is passed in, in this case, character. So there you go. I hope you understand it. If you don't, just go ahead and ask me on my forum or uh, leave a comment below, and I'll try to answer it for you guys. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video.